Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, we're going to start off with a very introductory lesson here to After Effects. Uh, this, uh, this lesson will kind of focus on uh, how to get a composition started, how to add uh, text under the text layer, and then just how to do some simple commands using keyframes. Uh, keyframes being kind of the foundation for everything you're going to do inside of After Effects. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start here by creating a new composition, like a new project. Uh, you can set up your composition settings here. Uh, I'll just do a drop down here to 24 frames a second. Uh, the duration is set to 30. Uh, a common mistake here is thinking this is 30 minutes, but we actually got milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours. So this is a 30 second uh, little clip here. And everything else, uh, you can kind of leave it default for now. And I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to create my new composition. Uh, here, uh, I am working under just the default layout. Uh, oftentimes, I'll also work under effects, uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep it at default. So we have our composition window here in the center. This is what our project's going to look like. Um, we have our project window over here on the left. This is all the assets and everything uh, that you have available in your project. You can put images here, uh, videos over there, uh, text, images, you know, uh, music. Kind of everything goes over here in the project window. And then down here, um, we have our, our, our composition bar uh, where we're adding different layers that we're going to be putting into our actual film here, into our footage. Um, so let's get started uh, just by typing in some text. So I'm going to go up to the text tool here at the top, and I'm just going to click here in my composition, and uh, we will just type some text. Uh, I can then uh, scale the text up here by using the selection tool and dragging it bigger or smaller, or you can uh, change around the, the sizing over here on the left on the character panel, which is going to open up. Okay, And one thing you're going to notice is down here now in my layers panel, my composition panel here, you can actually see I have a text layer. It shows me a little thing about what the text is. And now I can actually scrub through my footage here uh, on my timeline from 0 to 30 seconds. And nothing's happening, of course, uh, but that is kind of the, the, the gist of how you add objects into your layer. And you can just pick this up and move it around as you will. Excellent. So let's add a little bit of uh, animation into this clip. Um, and uh, we're going to be using keyframes for that. Uh, essentially, uh, a frame is, uh, we set it to 24 frames a second. Um, and uh, so uh, with keyframes is, is you are specifying a specific uh, action to happen at a certain frame of time. And uh, that is called a keyframe. And then you change the action for later in time. And it kind of uh, it changes what is happening with your object here in the scene. Confusing, but let's kind of uh, you know learn something really simple that we can do with that. So with my text layer down here, I'm going to expand it by clicking on the arrow. And let's do some simple transform commands. And here you can see anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And next to all these words, you see a little uh, stopwatch. Um, and what that does is it allows you to change its properties over time. Or essentially what that's doing is enabling keyframes for this object. So let's start uh, just by manipulating the position. You can see we got some X and Y values here for position. And as I move my text around, you can actually see these values change because I am changing its position here on the screen. Okay, uh, so let's animate its position here. So I'm going to click the stopwatch here indicating that I'm wanting to uh, change the properties of the position. And you can see what it's done. It's actually added a little keyframe there at zero, zero frames, right? Right here. So as you can see, I, as I move this little widget here, you can see my frame counter here. So that's 18 frames, 19 frames, all the way up to 23. Then it goes to 24, which rolls over to the next second. So what I'm saying is by enabling keyframes that at this point of time, zero frames, I want my position to be these values. So then I'll go ahead to maybe two seconds, and then I will move my object. And what you can see, it's created a path now, and it has added a new keyframe. So at this point of time, I want it to be at this position. So we can go ahead another two seconds. And then I can move this up. Go ahead another two seconds, and move it over. And you're kind of getting the point here. And we kind of go back into our starting place. And then what I can do is I can go back to the start here, hit spacebar to play, and you're just going to see our object move between these positions at these times. Awesome. Uh, and that's kind of the foundation behind all 
keyframe animation inside After Effects. That is the um, the kind of the backbone of everything you're going to be doing in this program once you start spending some time with it. Um, and you can you can set the keyframes for anything, right? So we can enable the keyframes uh, for scale, for example, and then you know go to one second and let's make the scale bigger, and let's go to three seconds and make the scale smaller, and then go to five seconds and make it bigger again, right? And you kind of get the idea now. So not only are we moving position, we are also moving uh, in size throughout uh, the animation. Perfect. Okay, uh, thanks for today's lesson, and uh, we will see you guys later.